So, um, I just watched The Puppet Master the other night. And that's a, obviously it's a cult classic. It's a favorite of me and a lot of my friends. Um, and it's probably, uh, I think, one of your most popular films they've ever done. Um, were there any, uh, and that's uh, one of your earlier films too. Is there anything like from you know back when you first started filming, you know, mistakes that you may have made that you could tell you know other people who are going to be directors to look out for? Uh, the pr I don't I don't know that it's about making mistakes and and correcting mistakes um, unless you have a hit film. Uh, and there aren't that many hit films. Um, and even when you have a hit film, it, you, it buys you a certain amount of time. Um, but basically, um, and I was, a, for many years, I was a single parent, so I, I had to work. I had mm -hmm. to work whatever, I, whatever, I, whatever kind of... I, I didn't get to pick the films that, that I wanted to... I, you know, I would take the job that came. Okay. So, um, I don't know what kind of advice I can give someone except uh, you want to try to avoid getting pigeonholed. Um, Hollywood uh, tends to, whatever the first thing you do is what they label you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And so it's important to try to do something different for your second film. Um, if you look at someone like Spike Lee or Ron Howard, they always make a different kind of film. Mm -hmm. yeah. And from early on, they, they purposefully did not repeat themselves. And so um, there aren't that many directors, because Hollywood likes to see, if they get a science fiction script, they say, who are the sci-fi guys? Mm -hmm. If they get a drama, who are the drama guys? If they get a comedy, who are the comedy guys? And they have lists. Um, there was a filmmaker that I met at a festival who had done a short. He won the Academy Award for Best Short. And I saw him a year later, and I said, "What happened? You know, did it open? Did you get your Did you get your feature?" And he said, "Well, I I got an agent, and I went to I had meetings at all the studios, and what I discovered was I'm a drama guy." Mm -hmm. And he said, if, if, and they don't make that many dramas anymore. And if they're going to make a drama, there's a list of already established drama guys that I'm at the bottom of. So it's very competitive. Yeah. It's very competitive. Very easy to get typecast. And it's really easy to get typecast. And, and even really fine, very successful directors, the one who, I can't think of his name now, but he did the... Bruce Willis, uh, tall building films. Uh, what am I thinking of? Die Hard. Die Hard. Uh, and he stuck doing those kind action of expensive, star-driven action movies. Mm -hmm. yeah. And he hates it because he would really like to do a romance or yeah. anything but that. So, you know, everyone sort of has this same battle with with the big machine. And it's changing. It's much different now uh, because of the internet. I mean, the internet is has Hollywood really very frightened and they don't know what to do. Oh yeah? What for? Well, um, it's not going to be long before... Uh, it's already mostly driven by the internet mm -hmm. in, in a lot of ways and at some point when the broadband is supportive enough um, everyone will basically access their TV with the computer and they're going to want to see anything they want to see at any time. Mm -hmm. And so Hollywood hasn't figured out how to monetize its intellectual property. How do you make money mm -hmm. off of what we're making money off of now? Mm -hmm. And the culture is, especially from those of you who were born and raised with the computer and with the internet, is it's free. Mm -hmm. You want it for free because it's free. And it, you can't change that culture. Mm -hmm. So they're trying to figure out how do you how do you make money off of 
the things that you make. I mean, they, the reason they released Avatar worldwide in 8,000 theaters or however many theaters they, they did on the same day was because um, piracy is so mm -hmm. rampant. They used to would release it in the U.S. and then it would go overseas. Mm -hmm. But now, uh, the chair of my department came back from El Salvador for the holidays, and when he was there, his dad gave him a copy of Avatar that he got for a dollar. Oh, wow. wow. This was during Christmas. Jeez. So bad that's our generation. I know. <laughs> so, you know, it's, it's piracy all over the world. It's, yeah. it's just a big problem for the studios. They, they, they will, um, and they, as tight as they try to make it, you know, and they made it incredibly difficult to get a copy of Avatar, but somebody got it mm -hmm. all over the, all over yeah. the world. Wow. So they just, they're, you know, they're, they're cleaning up, and they're, they're gonna, it's going to be the number one film in a few weeks. Mm -hmm. Definitely, ever. definitely a great movie. And uh, so, you know, they're going to be fine, but um, it, you know, any time, I, I, frequently some of my students will say, oh, I saw a tourist trap last night. Oh, where'd you see it? They said, on the internet. <laughs> 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 and it just means that I don't get my residuals. Mm -hmm. Right. And I will tell them, that there goes your future. <laughs> so Tom, give me five bucks right now. <laughs> and you know you can you can you can go online. They people will tell me, well, why don't you go and have them take it off the internet? Well, you know, you take you have you you can you can write the letters and send the emails, and they'll mm -hmm. take it off, and then somebody else will put it right back yeah. up. Yeah. So that's the problem that the industry has. Mm -hmm. And both TV and film and <coughs> is um, costs a lot of money to make these things, and there used to be a way that it, it would start in the theaters, and then it would go to, to um, DVD, and then it would go to TV, and then it would go to cable, and then it would go to syndication, and, and there would be a money stream all along the way, um, and it's still there, but it's it's changing. Mm -hmm.